What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World and I know a lot of you guys have been having some difficulty leveling up. You're like, yo G, when are you, you gonna put out some more level up videos and stuff like that? For most of you guys that's been following me on my streams, watching it live, we've been going through it, but I will be giving you guys some insight, you know, from time to time to make sure that you guys are keeping up with stuff for your free players, your free packs, stuff like that, and leveling up, right? So right now, when you go over to live events, I just wanna go ahead and double check with you guys that you understand what's going on. Every day that you log in during this situation, it, it's going to apply itself to a daily uh, zero chill login. All right. So with that, you're going to have a daily Mutmus calendar and they're looking for us to log in for 17 days straight. Now, I know it's disgusting. I know EA Sports doesn't expect you to spend time with your family and stuff like that. But remember, there are so many different ways to uh, remotely do it. So if you're on PlayStation, you can do it from your phone. They also have that, uh, you know, that, that that wireless situation now where you actually can play the game on a bigger screen, uh, similar to the PSP, but just enhanced. Uh, Xbox, I don't know pretty much a lot about that stuff. Uh, my PC guys said they're all set because they can log in from anywhere with Alienware. So like I said, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, just try to get it done because this is going to help you guys as far as presents go and uh, accumulating a lot of free packs. And, um, you know, on Christmas when it automatically opens, you may luck out and make a decent amount of coins. Now, as far as the upgrades and stuff like that uh, for leveling up, you're going to want to make sure you're taking advantage of all of these challenges because inside of the rewards for this specific uh, field pass, you can see there's a ton of XP. And the reasoning behind getting this done, although Michael Vick is garbage, and I want to be very, very clear about this, right? Michael Vick is a trash card, right? But when you get to level 50, you'll be able to figure out what actual uh, attributes really matter because he's actually OP at level 50. He's just left-handed. And that's what makes it bad because with the rollout and the way that I've been playing recently, because I don't care anymore, the rollout is a little bit more difficult because he's left-handed. But if you roll out to the left, it won't really matter. You see what I'm saying? So you can balance it and just change the way that the game is. The only thing is your opponent will know that it's much more difficult for you to roll to the right, so they will send more pressure to the left. But this is a huge way to understand more or less what's going on with the XP aspect of the game. All right, so what, what are you expecting to get from this field pass? You can see that you need a decent amount uh, to be able to max it out, 70,000, right? Okay, with the objectives, you can see the way that they have it split out. Right now, you can only do 50 and 50, and I told you, I will never recommend something to do that I won't do. And if I'm recommending it and I'm not gonna do it, I will give you full disclosure. The reason that I'm doing this is because I wanna get that Vic done so that I can see how good he is. Because if it just happens, I'm gonna show you his numbers in a second. Um, all the other cards are garbage in the field pass itself. Like Teddy Hendricks, you know, he sucks. Um, you know, Barry Sanders sucks. But Michael Vick may have hope when he's fully maxed out. And, uh, you know, like I said, with that whole backyard thing where he has like the playmaker and all that stuff with the Hot Rod Master, it could work out that he's a lot better than we actually think. All right, but right now he just sucks. All these other things, right? The Madden Express Stop schedule, all this stuff, you need to complete these things. Very, very self-explanatory. Now, as far as the snowflakes go, as you play the challenges, you actually get free snowflakes, and every day that you log in, you get free snowflakes. You just have to purchase something from the snowflake store. I had a question about that, and I just wanna make sure that I answer it. Anytime that they tell you that you have to do something in the store and you need certain currency, they always give you a certain amount of that currency for free in a challenge. So all I did was play challenges. And then when you get the free packs and you open them up, only the uh, stock and stuffers quick sell for, uh, for snowflakes right now. So that's just something that they're gonna probably update as they go on. And if they don't, they're gonna lose a lot of money. And EA and lose the money go together like lamb and tuna fish. Shout out to Adam Sandler. So they're not gonna mess around with that. They're gonna make sure that they have a way for you to spend money to get snowflakes. They're just waiting it out so that you can accumulate a lot of presents right now and break the server even though they limit the amount of presents you can get in the store for the first time, all right? So now, with all the sets and upgrades, very simplistic, make sure you're doing those things, and then like I said, the challenges are broken up into three segments that they're gonna probably release every Thursday, all right? Stats, very simplistic, you can do that in any mode, get that done, but ultimately the rewards and getting the XP is what you're gonna do to apply to the regular mutt level, all right? Now, inside of the challenges, like I said, I've already done all of them, once you do them, they're gonna drop down to the bottom. Any challenge that you do, they eventually drop down here, and then they don't, until they update, they won't go back to the top. That's how I'm able to know if they drop new challenges. So that's just something that you guys can be able to, you know, just keep that in your mind. Anytime they drop new challenges, it'll reset and go back to the top. 
so you'll know that they're there. Right now, there's nothing going on there. All right, so all these four, go ahead, take care of them, and get the first part of it done, and try to accumulate everything that's inside of the objectives to increase your overall field pass. Now, let's go to the regular field pass right here. We're gonna go ahead and check the field pass out and uh, see how close we are to going ahead and getting this final uh, upgrade token for Vic. So we need a decent amount, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's like 62 plus the 40, we need like 100,000 uh, XP. So we got a lot of work to do. By the time that zero chill is done and we've accumulated enough of the daily tracker uh, for the most part, we should be able to get that Vic within the next week. All right, even with part two of the zero chill, you go through that, you should be able to get that 100,000, all right? Also remember, the competitive field pass is still active as well. The problem is a lot of us are not playing it the same way because of the fact that they want us to play a gazillion solo battles and nobody wants to do it. But I want to tell you this, the solo battles gives you a lot of stuff, all right? I know it's annoying as hell that they want you to play this many games. It's very, very stupid. But it gives you a decent amount and that's how a lot of people have been unlocking uh the tight end that's available over here somewhere uh so quickly because they've been you know they're like yo i'm playing the solo battles i refuse to play solo battles but they may force me to do it either way i know i won't be close to the thousand the grind is not the same way that it was before so that's why it's like everything is like messed up because they should be able to give it to you uh, if you play head to head, you should have the option of being able to grind a little bit easier than having to play the computer. Nobody wants to really do that unless you're just a primarily an offline player. Uh, but if you can do both, you're all set with that. So you also, like I wanted to show you, you have the option of getting XP here as well. So with everything being considered, like I said, within the week, we'll have everything with Michael Vick. And then you'll also, in addition to that, be getting free packs, free players. Um, you know, it's a lot of stuff that's going on as you go, you know, you go through all this. All right. All this stuff is for you right here. You know what I'm saying? This is just, this is all free stuff from the field passes. I'm just not opening them up yet because I don't know exactly what EA is trying to do. So before I, before I start going crazy and doing other things, I'm going to just hold it until 1225 and again if you missed my last video do not quick sell your presents okay for snowflakes they will provide other ways for you to get snowflakes it's no way possible EA is going to fumble the bag or one of the most lucrative promos in their history okay so just take it easy with that now finally what is the point of all that michael vick all right even though it's zero chill michael vick is ideally what everybody is looking to actually complete so once you get that final token uh, for Michael Vick, you'll be able to go ahead and test them out and see what's actually going on with them. Now, do I think he's going to be good? I don't know. That's a very crazy question. I really don't know. But at the end of the day, look at his speed. All right. He's going to literally be a 94 speed. If you put him on a theme team, 96, he's going to have crazy throw power. Um, well, that's 92 throw power, but you can boost all of that with strat cards. So we're going to test him out and see what's going on with it. Um, if it turns out that he's still trash, we'll just move on. But that's one of the things that you guys were asking about. What's the point to grind? I would say to just try this card out, fully maxed out, and see if EA actually made him right. He's only going to have a 91 Excel, so I don't like that too much. But like I said, I think it's worth a try, guys. Go get your free cards. Go get your free packs. Let me know if you have any other questions or comments. Hit me up. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. Until next time, one love, y'all.